So for question five, it says find the general solution of the differential equation, which is this. If it is known that this is one solution, that is if y1 equals this is, is a solution. Now, the thing is, you might easily get confused here, but what you need to observe is that you have been given that y1. Okay, now let's let's let, let's let's write what we're given. So this is the solution we have y prime prime plus six y double prime then plus y prime minus thirty four y equals zero. This is this is what we're given. Now we are told that y1 is a solution. That is y1 equals e to the power negative 4x cosine of x is a solution of this differential equation. Now, actually, what this tells you is that they've given you a hint in trying to solve the auxiliary equation that should have been formed from here. Anyway, if you're trying to solve this whole thing here, that's this um, differential equation here. So, since we have y prime prime, so we replace y with m. So this is going to be the auxiliary equation. That's going to be m cubed plus 6m squared plus m. So that's y. Then minus minus 34 equals 0. Now this is to the third, to the third power. If you're trying to solve this whole thing, they've given you that one of the solution is this. So they've helped you in trying to solve or to factorize um, whatever expression you obtain after solving or when you're trying to solve that. So in other words, what I mean is that if you compare this to this, see so like you're having y equals e to the power alpha x, so you have c1 cosine of beta x plus c2 sine of beta x. Now, on comparing this, you'd observe that this, which is minus 4 here, is going to be alpha here, and then the 1 here, there is 1 here, is going to be your your beta here. So that implies like you is like saying you're saying your alpha equals minus four and then your beta your beta equals equals one. So now if that's the case, so it implies that the m which should be alpha plus or minus i beta is gonna be minus four plus or minus our i is gonna be one i so that's gonna be i. So this should be the solution of the auxiliary equation formed from one of um, the factors of the auxiliary equation. Now, how then do we do we use this? So since we already know from here that one of the solutions is, so you have m1 equals minus 4 plus i, you have m2 equals minus 4 minus i. Now, when you multiply um, the two of them together, to find, since this is of third degree, so we need another third term. Say probably m3 equals m3 equals a. So all we are saying is that by the time you multiply this and this, which could be written in this form, you have m plus 4 minus i, and this could be written as m plus 4 plus i. Now when you multiply the two of them together, you get an expression, then you divide you divide what you have here by what we have what we have here. So either way that's 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 one way to it anyway. And then if you'd like you'd like to just factorize the whole thing fully. When we solve this at mq plus that, what we're gonna have is m1 equals minus four plus i. You have m2 equals minus four minus i, and then you have your last term which is m3. The last um, solution that's m3 equals m3 equals 2. Now, based on this and this, so this is like our solution is going to be y equals so this is going to be our alpha since we have it here, so it's going to be e to the power negative 4x into c1 cosine of 1 1x plus c2 sine of 1x, then plus the last one is going to be c3 e to the power e to the power 2x. Now that is the general solution of the differential equation that we're given. So if you have any question, just drop a comment below and I'll reply.